Hi there, this is Tom Cox with Cummins Engineering. I'd just like to talk a little bit today about designing box culverts in ORD uh, and some of the benefits really. And I'll show you some of um, the fa my favorite things I like about it for, well one, obviously it's uh, easy to visualize as you're designing it in 2D. It's visualizing it in 3D for you, so that's always nice. Um, uh, any issues really stand out. You see those right away. Uh, but the way I approached this one was uh, uh, more of what they call a parametric design or taking into account design intent so that if anything changes on the project, uh, it makes it much more easy to make that change and, and uh, can be a lot less time consuming anyway. So what I did was I mainly used construction lines, as you can see over here in the plan view, uh, which were much longer than the box actually is. But then you just set your profiles to the actual limits and, and uh, you end up getting the box covert to the size uh, that you choose. So what I started off with this roadway center line, which is this line right here. And then uh, I knew that our stage line was going to be five and a half feet over. So I set that stage line. Uh, next, we've got the center line of the culvert. And so rather than just you know use microstation commands and draft in that line that represents the center line of the culvert, we use the smart lines, the smart, smart technology, where you can draw in the line by angle and it will allow you to change that later. What you're doing is you're building in relationships as you go. And that's how when you make a change, everything can follow it. So let's just see an example of that. I'll go ahead and I'll select that culvert center line. Go to the 45 degrees and I'll key in say 20. And just like that, everything followed it. You know, it held that stage line uh, I guess you could have seen that down below here in a in a plan view. You'll see it when it goes back. See those those two lines. One, like I said, one's the stage line down below, and then the other's the back of the culvert. And that's in this case uh, what I was trying to fix. I only wanted to change the skew, but I want wanted everything else to remain the same. You know, it's still a, a nine by seven box culvert. That doesn't change. The only thing I want to change right now is the skew. So let's take that back to 45 degrees. And now let's look at changing something else. Um, how about the length? Maybe the length needs to be extended to this box culvert. I can just grab that construction line on the back side. And you wanna make sure you grab the right line. I actually have two lines on top of one another. One is the bottom of the top slab, the other is the uh, invert of the culvert. So I'm gonna grab that line. And now you can see I can either pick up with this handle, extend that line, or I can key in that dimension. This is negative 48 feet. I can change it to maybe some nice even number. I guess in this case it would be a negative 50. And just like that, everything heals around it. The only thing, you know, the, so in this case, I only extended the length. The skew remained the same, you know, the size, everything else remains the same. So as you're designing and building in that design intent, you really need to think about what's foundational, what comes first. If you tie a line to another line and, you, and that one line moves, is that relationship held uh, that you've built in to your design. Thank you. Once I get a little further along with this, I'll uh, make another video.